Hi YouTube, it's Storyland. We're going to be going over my LARP kit today for my original character, Thea, for the uh, Silver's Glory LARP and the Uncle Rickon's Big Time Island Adventure LARP that I go to up in Nebraska. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is my flatware. Um, I use these at feasts and rituals and stuff like that. Um, you can get these cheap little metal pans from thrift stores. They're really common to find. I got this one. Uh, it was marked as $4.99, but I think I got it for cheaper, and this one was $2.99 um, from a local thrift store. Another thing I highly suggest is getting um, a nice little goblet or something to drink out of while you're there. Um, it adds to the immersion. It's better than just drinking out of like solo cups or plastic cups. Um, and it's a little bit more immersive and it's super pretty and makes me feel super fancy. Alright, so another really nice thing to get is a basket. Uh, we put um, spell packets in these. Spell packets are little sheets of fabric with like bird seed in them and string tied around them um, so that when they burst open the birds can eat them and it's not harmful to the event space we are at. Another good thing to keep on hand are these little glass bottles with corks. You can get them for pretty cheap at craft stores. You can also sometimes find them at thrift stores. I really like them. They add another level to your alchemist or your spellcaster and I just think they kind of add like a more period theme to them. Okay, so this thing is my saving grace. It is a backpack that I bought off Amazon and it's so helpful. I wear a lot of skirts and dresses. They don't have pockets so when we go out on to do mod card hunting and stuff like that and mod cards are just like encounters essentially. Um, they let us put like whatever loot we find in them, um, anything cool I can pick up. I like to pop it in my backpack and then I can go off and do whatever I want. I actually bought this for my original character. Her name was Cricket. She was a gnome engineer and I changed my character and I talked about that in one of my other videos. Um, but now this is Thea's backpack because backpacks are useful. Backpack pouches all that super useful one thing that's really great to add some depth to your costume is accessories i keep mine in a little box it's super cute it's made out of wood i actually got this from my grandmother but you can get boxes like this from the thrift store um i just have a couple like gold cuffs these ones are like feathers this one's bronze it's it's pretty uh, this is the necklace that she wears the most it has jingles on it and honestly I'm not a huge fan of making noise because um, I like to do some of the sneaky sneaky thieveries I have a lot of earrings that my character likes to wear she's very extravagant in all of the stuff that she wears um, and over the top and colorful and loud <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you is my ritual kit. That is what I use in-game to cast all of my rituals. Thea is a ritual caster. This is really heavy. I had to upsize it to fit more stuff in it, but I'm going to have to actually end up getting a even bigger one. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, so what we have in here is in my game's rule set, we have hearths, and hearths allow you to reset your, uh, spells and stuff that, with any, like, missed spells you've had, so I always keep this red one to signify our hearth on my, like, little camp. Um, this is a <laughs> makeshift marker for a... Uh, ritual because they have to be a certain radius which is always really nice I have some crystals some candles uh, a stack of tarot cards um, <laughs> lots of stuff this is actually what a packet looks like I like to keep one in my ritual kit in case I have to cast a spell and ritual because you're not allowed to leave in the middle of them the little crystal ball for scrying, bunch of candles, some smell good stuff, 
um, that lets you, uh, you know, add a little more elements into your ritual, like scent. I also use, uh, give me one second. I also use these cone incense. I keep them in this little container. Um, it's really cute and it keeps them pretty well in there because I had a problem with them slipping and sliding everywhere. Another thing is I use these little fishbowl beads to mark stuff out. It's always really nice to have little things that mark things out for you. Also, I have this as a gift. It's a bunch of little tea lights that are battery powered and they came with some extra batteries. Um, I like these mainly just because they're safer. Um, anywhere you're going to be leaving candles out for a long time, I would suggest getting something that is flameless because it's a lot of a lot less risk to the site and to people that are there. This one originally retailed for $34, but I'm sure you could find stuff like this at like a thrift store or a dollar store for cheaper, and maybe even Amazon. Um, next, we have, these are all of my ritual pages that I have. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them, but these are the things that I give to the marshal and say, hey, this is what I'm casting. Here are all my components to my ritual. And this is what I'm doing. This is my character's logbook. She writes notes to her sister in here. Um, she likes to keep it all very hush hush. She doesn't want people to knowing all of their business and all of their plans. There's a lot going on with her right now and I will be making a video about what's going on with her, what she's doing, and have her introduce herself to you guys. Another thing I forgot to show you guys is this little bronze container thing that I got at a thrift store. It's really black and gross on the inside because I burn stuff in it. It's a way to keep everything contained. Uh, a note for this though is if you do burn things in metal, metal does get hot. So make sure that you're safe and you don't burn yourself and let things give things the proper amount of time to like cool down and then also a really cool thing that you could do is burn stuff and, and to incorporate the elements is like pour water on it to douse the flames and stuff like that. I don't know, it's really cool. Also another thing that I forgot to show you guys from my ritual kit is, <laughs> sorry it's like very tied up, is this bundle of sage. Um, there's a really funny story behind this sage. I had just gotten a tattoo. I was on my way back um, from Kansas City with my boyfriend and his two friends and we got stopped by the cops and they decided to search our car and they found that and they thought it was drugs and it was really awful because it was really late at night and I didn't want to stand on the side of a highway but I did, and they were really confused, and I had to tell them what LARP is and why I bought it. Um, this is just a wooden bowl that I use for snacks and stuff throughout the day. It's a little bit more decorum. Um, I'm just going through things as they come through my tub of stuff that I have. I just have like a Sterilite tub. I do eventually want to get like a wooden chest thing for all of my stuff but I am a broke college student and only do what I can afford. This though is a little book that I actually made myself and I tea stained all of the pages and for all of my spell casters out there I have a really nice idea for you. I printed off my spell list and pasted it in here so that I could read them because when I was new I didn't know all my spells and I could quickly just be like oh I need a the flame damage spell okay by flames inferno I incinerate you magic flame whatever which I know means nothing to you guys because it's probably different at your LARP but it's fine that's how it works at mine <laughs> alright so I'm about to show you guys the infamous crown royal bag everybody at my LARP uses these as their little pouches. I probably should get a better one, but I'm not going to because why would I do that when I could um, get a bag and some free alcohol? Um, what just is contained in here is the coinage that my LARP uses. They're little keyholes with like a griffin 
that will focus a griffin on the other side we have copper silver and gold and then we also have like orc monies and stuff like that which is really cool um our weapons also use a tag system this is my weapons tag it's a mummy staff that i got it has special things put on it enchantments it has two times per session, uh, paralysis, weakness, and a ritual repository up to level 8. Which is really nice because at my game we have a ritual that is called circle step and that allows you to go from one place to a circle that you have been before. So basically I could just nope out of somewhere. When things get bad, nope I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not strong enough for this. I am squishy. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we're going over is all of my clothes that I have for my character. First up, I have this shirt dress thing that my... Uh, I have a Redditor that gave it to me, which is really lovely. It has all of this beautiful embroidery on it. I wanted to start including more navy blue into my color palette, and it does really well by adding this, like burgundy color into it and I just think it's really beautiful um, and I'm really grateful that they got it for me <laughs> um, the next thing we have is my skirts this is each one's 25 yards of fabric so this is 50 yards of fabric I have a green and a burgundy one I know it looks like Christmas I really want to get a uh, like a navy blue one to go along with this. I like to layer them. Normally I wear, wear them two at a time or sometimes I'll wear them singular if it's hot outside but it's been really cold and I'll put these on and show you guys in another video with my whole kit um, on but they look beautiful. They smell like sage because they've been in that box with a big bundle of sage. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is actually one of my favorite pieces that I have. It's a bodice that I got from the Ren Fair, or like my local Ren Fair. Um, it has this really lovely gold and red patterning on it, and I actually got a really good deal on it because it had an imperfection in the stitching right here. If you can see that line, there was a little string that came off of it that was in the way. And they called the owners and they're like, yeah, sure, you can get like a $25 discount on this. And it's also reversible and it just has this um, basic beige color on the other side. So it's very um, versatile in the stuff that you can wear it with. Um, I have a sari in here because I found it at a thrift store and I thought it was really pretty. And would be nice for uh, fancier occasions because my character actually wears a lot of scarves. We just haven't gotten to them yet. This is actually the first one I found in my bucket. It's very wrinkled, but it has some beautiful detailing on it. It's very green, yellow, and red, which quite frankly just fits my character's aesthetic. So this is actually the first bodice I bought. I bought it too big so I poorly sewed the inside of it so it would fit my waist because I never know what size to buy. And this one's also reversible but I didn't really like the green so I don't think I was ever going to wear it and I normally picked with the black. And it fits alright. I actually got this one off of Amazon. I also got those um, skirts from Amazon. Um, they're, I think they're like normally at belly dancing, like belly dancing skirts which I don't do that, <laughs> but it suits for my purpose. Um, I did see those skirts at my local Renaissance Fair. Same brand and everything. They're like called Weaves or Webs or something. And they sold them for $80 when you can get them for $45 on Amazon. And I was like, I'm not having any of this at all. <laughs> Alright, so the next item I'm going to show you is my like little jingly belt. Don't like it that much. It's too loud. I sometimes wear it, sometimes I don't. Um, it's kind of too gaudy for me. It's fine. Um, I got this shirt. Uh, it's like one of, it's from like an Asian brand on Amazon. And honestly, it works really well. I use this. This is my very first shirt that I bought for LARP. It works. It's not the most comfortable thing and it's a little bit see-through, 
but it is somewhat period and I think I only spent like seven bucks on it so you don't always have to spend a lot to make a great costume and I think what really pushes costumes is the more layers you have uh, the next thing I have to show you is another scarf it is very beautiful um, I normally tie this around my waist or wear it over my head it just depends on what I'm gonna be playing or how I'm feeling or what the weather's like outside. Uh, this is one of my cold weather items. It's a like cowl neck scarf. Uh, very creepy. I found this at a thrift store. You can find them online. Sometimes they're pretty expensive. Um, so I suggest hitting up your local thrift store as much as possible. Um, here's another sarong slash like hip scarf. My grandma gave it to me. Um, it has seashells on it. Why do I have a scarf that has seashells on it? I don't know. Maybe at some point she lived near sea and she loves it. So I have this uh, underdress that I don't wear anymore because I actually accidentally stained it like a tinge of green. I might wear it more in the summer. It hasn't been really warm in my area since I've been LARPing, but it's all right. I like it. I did add like my own little detailing to it. It has these little leaf gold patterns on it. Um, ooh, the next thing, I actually got this at Dillard's. It's like a scrunchie top. I got it for a dollar because the Dillard's was closing out and I'm super proud of me because I love saving money. <laughs> Uh, this is another one of my cold weather LARP being things. It's a really warm sweater. It has some nice patterning, patterning on it. It's reversible so I can wear it either way I want. Um, this, is a, this black scarf has been with me through a lot. It's like a giant sheet. Um, perfect for your roguey characters. Perfect for when you go roguing. Um, I like to go roguing because I like to steal stuff because I'm poor but I want fancy things. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's alright. But it's always good to have a nice black scarf that you can dress up in and be all sneaky. The next scarf I have is this red scarf. It's soft and pretty, and I really love these like little tassel dealies on them. I don't like the just like square or rectangular scarves. Um, it just doesn't add as much flavor to my costume or like textures. Because I think a part of layering is adding a lot of different colors and textures so that it doesn't just look like a mass of the same color. So you want to have some variance in it. But yeah, that was all of my kit. Um, I'm going to be posting an introductory video of Thea to my channel at some point. You guys will see her in all of her glory. <laughs> and it's going to be tons of fun. I hope you guys keep watching. So yeah, like and subscribe.